Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can claw back a lot of time for the things that matter to you. Time is non-refundable, so why do we find ourselves wasting so much of it on things that don't matter to us, it doesn't really enrich our lives, and it doesn't enrich our family's lives? It's a little bit crazy. This week I've actually added a new rule for life. I love rules for life. Uh, it's a concept that came from uh, the Gretchen Rubin books. Um, I think it was originally in the Happiness Project. And I am constantly adding rules for life. And my new rule for life is, if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. And that's because there is limited hours in the day and I can't be fulfilling everyone else's needs and everyone else's wants and letting mine go to waste and my family's go to waste. It's just ridiculous. But we find ourselves doing it so much, so much. Like you think back over the last day, the last week, how many times did you do things for, I mean, it's not even for other people. It's a case of because you think other people think you should sometimes. It's because, you think there's an expectation on you or you're seeing other people do it or sometimes people that don't really matter to you are asking you to do it and you're caving let's let's be honest sometimes we're just caving we shouldn't be doing that either the problem is you can't stick to your own values and your own goals and what matters to you if you don't know what those things are it's so much easier when you've got a clear picture in your mind or even better down on paper of what matters to you and what's important and then when something comes along when someone asks something of you or you find yourself doing something that doesn't really sit right you can go well it doesn't sit right because I don't care about it it doesn't matter it doesn't fit with what I want to achieve from my life from my day it doesn't work with the kind of person I want to be some people even find themselves going against their own morals because they feel like there's some sort of weird outer expectation it's insane so it's so important to make sure that you have ideally written down bullet point written down the things that really matter to you the things that really set your soul on fire set your heart on fire are going to help you have the life you want be the person you want to be all those things I like having them written down because I am terrible for caving to what other people want uh, and and or think they need and quite often it's things that they could do for themselves which is very frustrating because they're just being a little bit lazy and they're going to the person at ah, this person will always pick up my slack and I'm I am terrible for falling for that so I like having mine written down and it makes such a difference it took me quite a while to get them written down and structure them out and I really wanted to help other people do this maybe a little bit quicker. So I actually created a free short course on this. Um, it's done by email so it comes directly to your inbox, really, really easy. I'm going to pop the link down below that will take you and you just pop your, your name and your email address in um, and you'll get a series of emails that help you build up looking at your values, what matters to you, what matters to your family, the kind of person you want to be to the outside world and to your like inner self as well well uh, it's really simple it's really straightforward and you can just work through the emails over a couple of days and it will help you build up this picture of the mum you want to be I call it my secret to being a super mum because if you don't know the mum you want to be you, you can't really build like the, any skill base or stop doing things that don't matter if you don't know what matters so amazing amazing course I'm really really proud of it so check that out in the link down below and that's completely free once you know the things that matter to you, you can start saying no to other people's priorities. You can start saying no to outer expectations. You can start looking inwards and going, really, is this exactly how I want to spend my time? Is this what I want to be doing? Does this contribute to, to me and to my family and to who I want to be as a mum and as a person in general? It's very tricky to get swept up in it but one of the things I like to do is I like to evaluate my previous week against my values and against who I am as a person and just check in. I do this on a Saturday morning, I do a little bit of yoga and then I check in, does my last week align with my values? And it's like five minutes, but I can go actually, I haven't really done any, any of this bit. Um, and an example, like two weeks ago, I was looking at mine and I was thinking, I've really, I really feel like I've really nailed my values this week, but the one thing that I hadn't hit was generosity, and it was, 
a little quick fix, I guess, but I knew that one of my friends had started fundraising for a charity about uh, preemie research. So I was literally able to click on his Facebook, click on the link and donate something. And yeah, it was only a tiny like bit of being generous because generosity for me is also your time. It's not just your money. It's, it's, um, it's your time and your resources and your skills. But at least I did something. And I know that I left that week feeling like I'd done this like complete, complete all my values in one week, which is awesome. I really hope you found this useful and it's gonna save you loads of time because you will be focusing on your priorities and what matters to you. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.